this is our reality here in Bermuda, but when you bring foreigners in and they say, yeah, this is so cool to get to, um, they're like, okay, we're... <laughs> and I'm still trying to see it. They think that the, um, the, the government houses are, cut, are luxury condominiums because in their jurisdictions, things look far worse. But, you know, the, the, the community, despite its reputation, I think it's entirely safe. I have no problems with reference to safety, even, um, you know, given my profession or whatnot. You know, everyone's very respectful. Um, I call them like my neighborhood watch. You know, if someone comes in the yard that's not supposed to be there, I'll be sure to know about it when I come home. Mm -hmm. And that's the type of environment that we forced to hear in, 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 in this particular part of the town. Yeah, probably about seven years old. I've, I've been, I grew up in the area permanently before we was done in, in Hamilton Parish. I have nothing bad to say about the area. You couldn't pay me to go live anywhere else, actually. We always felt like the communal spirit. We, even though the area had a negative reputation, it wasn't something that we lived in in our particular area. Especially when I was growing up, people, the more, it was less transient as it is now. And there's more of the communal atmosphere. You go next door, get a, get a loaf of bread or get some rice or get some sugar from somebody and they'll come over the house and do the same. And I think it's, you know, it's great for the area to reunite people because especially as it's more transient now, sometimes you, you don't really get to see the neighbors unless you have some sort of function. And then you're like, oh, you just stay, stay you know, two doors down or whatnot.